Hello friends, Sentinel H here, and welcome back to the fusion plant let's build. We've been apparently invaded by birds, and squids, <laughs> and a ghast somewhere. Water lovers, stop spawning animals. Uh, what's the button to change focuses? Oh well. You're just gonna zap them with electricity? No, I'm trying, I'm trying to change the focus on my wand. So you can zap them with more electricity. No, so I can burn them with all the different Go home, food. Palpatine, you're drunk. Uh, I'll just get myself a sword sword. No, Ink Sack, I don't want you. I want a sword sword. Why is it not giving yeah. me a diamond Multiply. sword? The game won't give me the sword. Oh well. Because the swords are broken, remember? What do you mean? It oh yeah, Iguana Tweaks disables swords. Yeah, I just wouldn't... Okay, whatever. I don't care. There we go. Clean them up. Need to work on the control room today. Um, you know I can do that with one equal trade. Well, you're not doing it, so I'm doing it. <laughs> I was cleaning up the birds. I know you were cleaning the birds. The birds were all annoying. Alpha Hitchcocky. Yay! Yay! Clear glass. Oh, it's so beautiful. Yes. Ah. Uh. Oh yeah, that's some nice connected texture out there. Now, I would, I want to get the control pen. I, I want to get the, um, I want to get the monitors in here. Well, I. Oh, the computer well, craft ones. No, what? Can we get no, those? No, we're talking about the 80s. Can we? Ones. Can we do that? With a bit of code, anything. Is because possible. what we really need is we. I think I can. I could use red, redstone interfaces. Look, what we need is we need monitors to keep track of the. Amount of deuterium and tritium we have, as well that as can be done, as, as well as the amount of uh, liquid nitrogen we have and the amount of water we have. If we can keep, mm -hmm. we need to keep track of all of those here in the control room. We also need. Well, this <laughs> we also need an emergency shut off button. Boo! Well, I already got the um, solenoid hooked up to wireless redstone. It's just like they put receiver up, transmitter up Well, here. turning that off isn't what we need for an emergency shutoff. We I need know. to be able to we break... Need to up the plasma. We need to cut the plasma supply off to the um, without... Yeah, let me show Without melting... Let me show you... Valve pipes! Without melting the remaining... Valve pipes don't work for plasma, do they? No, they don't. No, I wouldn't think Damn it, so. It's right, <laughs> such a buzzkill. Magnetic... What is that weird green thing down there? I don't know, something warlubber probably, but because it's full of turbines, ready to kill someone. <laughs> what? Waterlubber, did you build a turbine death trap? No. <laughs> you built a turbine death trap, didn't you? No, I didn't. I bet you did. I don't know what you're talking you about. You did build a turbine death trap. It says to put waterlubber here. I think we should teleport waterlubber in there. <laughs> and de-up him. D up, don't D up me. I don't want to be D up. That might make me down. <laughs> D up. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is what I was thinking for the um, at least for the plasma lines to be cut. If you come over here towards the one. Yeah, yeah. I remember you I'm explaining at. this to me. Oh goodness, the yeah. lag. Oh my goodness. I haven't the side from where the thing is. I was thinking something like this. Problem is, we need to make sure that wherever you cut it at, if you cut off the Vandegraaff. They'll melt, and we don't want them to melt. Well, I was thinking. So I think. I think that uh, actually, I think I know an easy way to fix that. If if if, if it works, I'm I not think I think the way to fix it. it is just to put a block there. Because now, now the electricity. No, now the Van Graaff will now everything down below it will break into the no, 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 my idea was that when you well, I was good. when you broke one, it well, oh, do goodness, we both punched. That won't work because yeah. now the power isn't going hey, into Shiva, the pipes. Eat these nanobots I made for you. What? The power isn't going into the pipes now. I thought wood with iron, iron bars and no. everything. Because I believe you said something about that, Rikia. I don't Good. think so. Well, we can test it. Try putting it back and see if it'll go through them. Okay, so how can you tell when they're powered? Is it because they shimmer or do they always shimmer? Well, let's see. What happens when I break this pipe? Is it, sh it shimmer or not? Shimmy. Is it shimmy? I see. I uh, actually, let me see if I let me, let me get a plain pipe and put it over here. See if it shimmers. Oh wait a second. No, That's a problem. Why is there a laboratory block there? There should be a wool block there. Um. Yeah. Let me fix that. Oops. Wrong thing. Yeah, but, oh, nope. it can jump two blocks. 
Oh, nice. Oh, then problem solved. You just need to break the block that's directly connected to the, uh, directly touching the Van de Graaff, and, uh, it'll jump two blocks and keep the rest of the pipe from blur uh, blowing up. Which, yeah, but we still need to go it. down there. Which means your block breaker need needs to be sunk down a block. Yeah, but that's still not deep enough because we still have to get the power going to the pre -heater. That's still not deep enough. What? We have to get go into the pre or otherwise there'll melt the pipes in it. Oh. Well, you can't go lower than the top of the preheater. Actually, you can. I was thinking of maybe it's that. I was thinking of maybe doing like a rock picker, like. Yeah. Right here? Where'd you go, Sheaves? Oh, there you are. Ah, oh, lag, goodness. I'll yeah. I think of like a brock breaker right there. Have it jump up. At the same time, it'll be coming off this corner, so it'll be jumping to the side here, thanks, and somehow. It's not gonna. Yeah. Actually, once we. It, I think it always back. jumps to what's closest to it. Yeah, and then maybe so something like this. That won't work. Now it. Wait, so. I don't think that works. Oh, the pl injector's not. F no, the practice injector's not formed properly. Yeah, it got broke. I'll fix it. I'm still working up here trying to set up a computer. Open computers are so much harder than computer crap. There we go. But are uh, they more powerful, though, right? Oh, well, Steve, you work on that. I'm sure you'll do a fantastic yeah. job. Open OS. Keyboards have been have to be attached or placed next to a screen to work. Install. No writable disks found. Aborting. Yeah, uh, this I, is... once I saw that error, I'm like, screw this, and decided to... This looks like work. I need to run away from it. <laughs> I would spend three episodes just programming, so I might do that off-camera, but I think I'm too lazy, and I'm probably just going to use regular redstone. Well, all that... I don't have the motivation. I mean, the determination. <laughs> all that matters is we need to get... Uh, we need to be able to monitor our supplies of vital things from the control room. Like vitamins and minerals. Yes, our the only alternative I see is using AE to do it. That's the yeah, that's the alternative. You and your AE. I like AE too. AE is. Do you <laughs> like AE too too? Yeah, I like it. Like I, I like AE too. I <laughs> that was intentional on my part. A lot of people don't like AE too. I really don't like the whole. It's, uh, it's okay. I mean, I'm getting used to it, but I don't like all the just really boring crafting recipes. But it makes you get all the crafting going, so. I just don't like having to um, go run off and find meteors. It's annoying. Same. Okay, uh, are all these pipes in place? Can I, like, put these Okay, well, back? I'm looking at the water production, and I'm getting bad frames. I'm looking at everything in this basin, and it's giving me bad frames. <laughs> Before you blame the water production, why don't you fix that reactor of yours, buddy? The reactor is fixed. There's nothing wrong with it. Buddy it's boy. It's 100% <laughs> built fine. Buddy boy. Well, 100% fine if you want to create more polygons, maybe, but... <laughs> but you remind me of that dude. What dude? Buddy oh, boy. it's the high-pressure turbines now. Everything is causing lag. Because <laughs> we've, we've put everything in, like, a really small area. Well, the density really doesn't matter. Actually, it kind of does. It doesn't. At any rate... You're uh, going to be rendering it anyway. Lagalicious. Uh, at any rate... Looks like most of the lag is right here. I think the induction motors are causing lag. Hello. Well, I'm looking at it directly at the motor at the turb. Yeah, it probably is. Hello, yeah, it is the induction motors. Yeah. Let's see what well, happens if we cover them up. Actually, let's turn them off. I think it's the polygon count. These might not have level of detail. Because look at this thing. Look how many polygons are on this motor. It's ridiculous. Um, I don't think Minecraft. Uh. Will Reads polygons. Well, each polygon takes more time to render. Obviously, for you're not polygons doing... to work, you need tessellation Ugh. in the game. And te <laughs> nah, nah, maybe you're right, but where's the way out? I know that this thing has far too many polygons. This, is the way this out. block here, far, far too many. Uh, the lag is ridiculous in that main area now. I'm oh, gonna break, break it. Actually, yo, I just shut off the power. No. Nah. Oh, that helps. That helped a little. Oh gosh, that helped. We need to fix this turbines over here. That did not help me at all. That helped me. But do you have NVIDIA or AMD? We, I have AMD and stop cutting all these things off. Cutting what things? The controller. It's not I didn't problem. break it. Don't be well, annoying. See, you're the only one that keeps on breaking it. Come on, it. you guys. Well, I didn't. What Come on, let's all get happy. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yep, definitely the motors. 
Yeah, we're gonna have to try to cut down on as many induction motors as possible. Uh, it's not too difficult. Instead of having four induction motors with uh sixty six amps, just put one shaft junctions and put uh two hundred forty amps. Yeah, okay. Two hundred sixty six amps here. We could. Well, okay. We'll we'll rewire. I'll rewire up the uh uh the the, wa the water room. All right, I'll rewire. Whoa, my there's room. like a a Thumbcraft Aura node over here. Bam, now it's gone. We just need a lot of water. Like, a lot of water. Yeah, enough to feed, like, how, how many boilers does this thing have? Like, a couple hundred? It's got a lot of boilers. Sentinel, how many Why not leave the pipes there, water lover, so you know where to replace everything? Oh, I'm just breaking them so we have less. We don't need this many. Oh, you're only gonna have four? Yes. Okay. And I'm gonna move this cable up a bit. I will break things for you. Thank you. And then just put a buttload of power in it in there. Yeah, how much power am I supposed to put in these things? Uh, Each one well, takes. Well, Lego was giving them amps. forty amps, so I'm gonna put in six hundred forty amps on it. No, I'm gonna put in. You can't put in three hundred and twenty amps. Mm. Oh no, since we had twice as many before, so six hundred forty amps. That's how much I'm gonna put in. Six hundred forty amps on a split. Put it on a two-to-one gearbox when you use the torque. Okay. I thought you are uh, not get half that because it was so broken up. <clears throat> He's going to put it on a two-to-one split to increase the torque. That's what he said. Alright, 640 amps. That's what he said. He said that. <laughs> yes. Let's see. Oh, I think I put this stuff backwards. What? My room is going to have three in the end. There's also a bunch of them on top of each of these uh, preheaters. One for the Van de Graaff, one for the heat ray. And one for the road. Indeed. Let's see, 40... Shaft junction. What's your function? Yeah. Ah, uh, excellent reference. Gold star for the reference. Oh, and there's three of them over here. Is red input or green input? Which one was Green is input, red is output, water lava. Thank you. What is this even here for? Okay, this one is running the that's the, the the chain thing. That one's running a Van de Graaff and that one's running another Van de Graaff. It's probably something important. Uh, touch they it. are it I know, break. they're all important. The last time you touched it it melted into lava. We're basically oh, amazing you guys. Okay, so what are we doing now? Well, I'm still working on things. Yeah. I'm going to keep working on improving the... Removing as many of these dready, uh, crummy induction motors as I can. All right, okay. Ugh, the lags. Oh, let's get rid of this. Why is... I'm just get rid of this thing. Why is there a... Advanced solar generator? It's probably powering something. All right, so... Water production's reset up a bit. All right. Two. What's, as what's the production in 14? How much is it going to produce now? Uh, twice as much. Just or make no, sure all the um, one just make sure all the dew much. point just make sure all the dew point aggregators are operation times that it's less than oh than a instead of running these why don't you just run a cable from our existing water supply the water lever. Here's a question: How are we going to put power into this room? Which room? This room, the water room. Cables. Like you've got the battery so covered in wires and stuff there's nowhere to place the incoming wire that's just temporary that's really temporary yeah we need to try and start getting things wired up the way it's gonna be i'm gonna be a da 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 that's good I no, don't do that why would you do that water lover stop that stop it stop it i just fixed that i just fixed that to make it look nicer see that looks nice no stop undoing what i did Run it, Eesh. run it at that level. Straight things look better than things that keep coming down and going back up. Coming down. To be fair, I think this just these high pressure turbines is causing a lot of life. Because every time I go look at them, I get tons of. Yeah, pressures. but we're gonna need turbines, and obviously, Reka doesn't believe that level of detail is important because clearly, uh, Actually, he must be he running on have NASA. Oh, he has some level of detail, but I can still see the individual blades from here. That's ridiculous and should not be there. Whatever, stop bad mouthing Rekka. He's gonna like be mad at us. I mean, he's a good modder, but all right, these should just be solid discs for more than ten blocks let's, away. No one's gonna let's care. Let's get dangerous. Okay, so so let's fire this water up, 
and then see how much water production we have. And if it, okay, can I got the pre the here. I got the pre I can go and, and if it's good enough. <coughs> Don't we start up the preheater? Yeah, fire it up. Yeah, start preheating. Fire up the tokamak. I'm a fire in my laser. Now all of the boilers and the whole thing are connected up to it, right? Oh wow. Water supplies Something. are on. The water supply is on for no wait, the water water wait, pipe is here? broken on this side. Why is it broken? Wasn't me, I swear. Now is well, the, are all the water systems connected together? Why am I getting ridiculous lag now? Yeah, me too. I just all I did was turn turn the heat heat heat, heat ray around. It should be worth charging up the thing now. But. Uh, I don't see any way that why how is this quadrant getting water? Oh, it's connected to to the other one. Okay, all right. I think all the quadrants are connected. Uh, do we have a uh, sufficient nitrogen? Oh, it's uh it's it's creative, right at the moment. I believe so. As long as the is barrels the bug that mess up. Mean? Yeah, then I. Oh, let me check yeah. my nitrogen supplies. Oh, uh, well, not even hooked up. To, you're not even hooked up. You're not even hooked up, water lover. What is That's this? What is this water pipe? Oh, over I see here? what you mean. Like, where is this water pipe going? I need to finish swapping out these ender fluid conduits for bedrock pipes. Is that water pipe going into the nitrogen room? I think I do need a water supply. Yeah, that's probably okay. mine. I just wanted to know what it was. Ah, oh, stupid bats! Go away! I don't like bats. They're annoying. Annoying bats. Man. Peter's going them some type of checking the arcs. How come everything, this everything... thing won't drain liquid nitrogen from the tank? What? Um, what are you talking about? Liquid nitrogen is not coming out of this tank here. It's got to, it's got a valve at the bottom and a suction pipe, and I've tried using a regular bedrock pipe, but none's coming out. It doesn't work like that. For real crap tanks, I noticed that. Or I think I went full on. Real crap. Oh, yeah, real crap stuff. tanks won't connect to the. Bedrock pipes, is that what we're saying? Yeah. They'll connect to the liquid pipes. It will... No, it won't connect to those either, trust but me. I no. Thought we... no, they don't connect. They won't connect to how did we do? Pipes. How did we do our lube tank in our Let's Play? I think he used I logistic did pipes. Mechanism. Oh, okay. Did hey, mechanism. logistic pipes are still in here. Hoggle's screaming in his sleep, and I'm doing it. Whoa. This is just the first level. Whoa. Oh, Sentinel, come check out this cool sign. And there's already 3 billion RF storage in here. Yeah. Uh, see if you can make, like, half the room dark. Oh my gosh. No. This is <laughs> nothing. How much is in here? Only 6 billion? That's nothing. We get Stop getting in the way you built one billion. 10 billion. Only 10 billion? Twelve billion. This thing right here has one thousand two hundred. Yeah, billion. but it's ha. <laughs> it's perfect. Yeah, but my battery right is than you, My battery is bigger than your battery, and you're just ashamed. To you say have it. the ring, and I see your Schwartz. It's as big as mine. See these four blocks? More than you'll ever have. <laughs> yeah, but these have adjustable output. But these are magical. Magical, basically. Blocks are completely underpowered. There are 27 billion. There, uh, 27 quintillion. Is that even a number? Yes. Yeah, quintillion. Quintillion is a number. There, 27 undecillion. I only know that number because of cookie clicker. I know that number because of uh, 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 capitalist, uh, uh, adventure capitalist. Adventure capitalist. If you guys are into those kind of things, look up, um, what's it called again? A game I just got. To. That's a weird name for uh, a game. Ex ex <laughs> yeah, game no, no, look up, look up, look up, look up, executive assault. Ex executive assault. Executive assault? Isn't that that RTS game? Yes, it's an RTS game. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. That looked really, really cool. Oh, crap, I just broke a creative yeah. barrel. I'm so dead. That's that game. Where you are a CEO, right? Mm hmm Yeah, I saw some people You're, play that. I would love to get some codes for that and have and play that with my brother. Well, I got one. But he's, you know, too busy these days. I got it's actually a saw I just got it today off off Steam. It's on it's actually thirteen dollars, I think now. I have no money. 
Yeah. I don't think these things make any more liquid nitrogen. What? Oh, I have to move up the in the input valve. Okay. Fix yourself, water lover. Fix yourself. You now for the war of battery storage. Indeed. Let's see, how many jewels is that? Quite a bit. Oh, only really... one Vern. What? I, I said only one Vern. Ah, that's a Jules Vern joke, isn't it? I don't know, but it well, definitely sounded batteries, like it went from the Earth to the Moon. You know... Do war batteries act like a multi-block or no? No. Okay, so then I have to make sure that like oscill each one's at, like in a row. Each one and one? Each one. Each one and one. <laughs> Oh, don't tell me. Oh, gosh. Please tell me this isn't true. H1N1. A much better game than H1N1. <laughs> it doesn't even exist. Actually, there's going to have to be two because I have to add redstone signals to make them work. H1N1 is such a stupid game. It's such a bad game. A game? I thought it was just swan flu. No, it's that H1Z1. That's what I was thinking of. <laughs> yeah, seven days, dot, seven days to die is a lot better than H1Z1. Yeah, and Survive the Nights is going to be like the best one ever once it comes out. Have you ever played one of the armor mods for Daisy? Yes, I have played Daisy. On armor two, two or three. I used to play it quite a bit with a friend of mine. Uh, before he quit being my friend. Hmm. Because why was he quit being your friend? I thought he was your friend. Political differences. Why does it make any more liquid nitrogen? What? Why would this thing make any more liquid nitrogen? Fix it. You're obviously not doing it right. Do it better. Um, or do it best, like the hardware store near me. So you, you Oh the react this thing should be producing plasma. You have storage oh. for tw Oh the reactor's running. You have storage for twenty seven billion twenty seven That's nothing twenty seven billion what? RF? How does that yeah. compare to watts? Because this thing will produce like six whatever gigawatts. Why are my refrigeration units refrigerating? What? Um, I don't know. That's Rick. Actually, we probably will only need like one or two of the redstone over turbine things in the end for that. Okay, guys, come over here. Yeah, Help me keep an eye on the water. Time. Keep checking these water tanks. So far, they staying steady. Yeah, it looks that way. But we've also checked the far end, make sure it's staying steady there too. Yeah, so far the pipes are staying good, but as soon as we do put pipes out to help increase the pressure level so it gives more throw output. Tanks But well, pipe pumps really won't help when you don't have enough water to begin with. Tanks are full of water so far the so far the steam boilers haven't run run out of water. I'm checking Well that's because they points. haven't gotten boiling point yet. Oh, there you yeah. go, they started heating up. The ones over here definitely aren't up to temp. So uh, we're running points. dry on liquid nitrogen because my system isn't producing for some reason. The, ones, the, the boilers over here are not receiving nearly as many neutrons. Oh, yeah, it's blinks. because, obviously it's because most of the um, fusion events are going to occur around the in one injector that's running. We yeah. The other injector is running to get a real test. But it looks like we have enough water for just the one injector. What the heck? The next test is to make sure we have enough water for, you know, two and then three. Well, right now I got loose. We should just wait to see. We're running. How much cool? We're running with. Are we? Well, we have a creative n nitrogen source, so it's not like we're. No, we don't. Do we, I don't think yes, so. We do. We have. Yes, we do. I I put it up have, here unless you have, remove some we, of the. We blocks. have these infinite. Uh, buckets, infinite reservoirs. Oh, they don't have enough torque. Okay. I see okay, Shaves, do you want to fire up another uh, injector? The one on the opposite side? Yeah, sure. I see over here, yes. And that should make the fusion events more um, consistent around the thing and give us more heat so it'll even be more, uh, more of a test. The Tyrium Bay or him drops something. Ooh, that sound is starting to get a little crazy. Once we have enough, once we know we have enough water to run all of them, then we we need to figure out where in this reactor to place the um, things that are going to give us. Why isn't this not running? To place the irradiation chambers to to produce our fuel. We can put those in the middle of the of the ring, can't we? What? 
What proves the what? The neutron irradiation chambers we need to put in here to produce so it can produce its own fuel. We can, sure. We can put those in the center of the of the ring. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's weird. What's weird? One of the preheaters are one of the heater units or preheater sections are not getting fuel on the opposite side from power. I mean, why won't it let cable. me fly? Blah. Fly, you fool! Everything's good over here. So, oh hey, why is there a big display screen over here? Polygon factory. It, it should have called it the Porygon factory. That's horrible. Why is it horrible? It's a good Pokemon joke right there. Okay, oh, Natalie's why. not have enough torque. I'm giving it two that. Oh wait, the motor's not putting out enough, isn't it? Oh lover. Start up. This lag yeah, is starting go. to get unbearable. Probably using help as there's two induction mo two or three induction motors per preheater. We need to try and streamline that. I know, I'll use a transformer. No, you will not. You do that, and you will use, I'll find a way to bad you. You will use those, you will use gearboxes, and you will use junctions. Box gears. Box gears, yes. Square gears. So I got, I got the opposite side charging up Good. now. And we'll see if we have the water f for that. And if we don't... Well, we'll have to turn up the temp. Turn up the. We'll have to turn up the power on the. Uh, well, actually, I took a look water. at them. They're all producing. Have have keep their, their supply full. Yeah, no, that's the point. Once we increase the uh, uh, amount of heat going into the system, we'll we'll really see if we have enough uh, water. What was I doing? Oh yeah, I was going to set up the Aurora battery storage in there. Ah, this lag. Oh my goodness. Ah, we're making more liquid nitrogen again. Good. Voila. I am happy to hear that. I like it when things work. So, power output is a side right for the Aurora battery. Hey, you know what this facility input. looks like in the minimap? It looks like a steering wheel. Well, yeah, when you're in a cave. Mode. Okay. Yeah, so when you're in one of these rooms. Uh, more nitrogen, but is the nitrogen going into the actual uh, reactor yet? No, uh, I don't think so. That, and I need to increase the speed even more. Nitrogen. Now, right now you have barrels full of ice. What we're going to need is we're going to need some sort of a pipe. That with a sign there that says ice input, and then whoever wants to run this will have to pump ice into it. And also, at the same time, we need to make it where the, the liquid nitrogen pipe actually leaks, breaches both sides of the reactor, otherwise, one side might lose how much it's getting. It's getting. Sure. Nice. Keep it cool, keep it chill, baby, keep it chill. Why did you need tree dye? I, I need lots of you're dye. Dying some resistors, I see. Oh yes. Ah. These resistors might die more often than someone with Ebola. That's a horrible joke. Someone with Ebola. Ebola. You said Ebola. <laughs> Ebola. E Ebola sounds like Ebola. What is it? Ebola sounds like a tech savvy gangsta. Ebola. Ebola. <laughs> Ebola. B A L L A, E Bala. We call him E Bala. He handles our email accounts. Crips and bloods. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I hope you're enjoying the fusion plant. Hopefully, we can get it to work. Uh, we're testing the limits of Minecraft here. I'm Sentinel H, and I'm signing out.